Uh, we have a new penguin chick named Chicory. We chose that name because, well, you know, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. So the name kind of, you know, with our New Orleans theme, you know, coffee and chicory, kind of stuck because of chicory. So it, you know, works for a guy or girl. After 18 months, it's going to shed all those juvenile feathers and then become a black and white penguin with that black and white tuxedo we're all familiar with. We don't want to just let the colony breed and produce, you know, all the chicks that they want because you're going to eventually wind up with, you know, cousins breeding with cousins, inbreeding. You're going to have way too many in one family lineage and not enough of another. <laughs> So there's a, a major problem right now with overfishing of their primary food source. 80% of the food source of the African black-footed penguin currently is the Cape anchovy. In the mid-1960s, it used to be sardines, herring, uh, all these other different species of fish. A lot of these were fished to extinction in around South Africa. By the mid-1980s, it was primarily Cape anchovy. The adults are starving to death at 8 to 10 years. That's a big dent in the African uh, penguin breeding population. There used to be over 3 million of these guys in the wild in 1900. As of last year, the latest census brought back about 48,500. That's almost a 99% decrease in over a century. So it's not sustainable. And most scientists are saying within a decade or so, extinction is a near certainty unless something's done to protect the Cape anchovy and try to allow it to respawn and come back.